With us in the studio now is Ted Salamone from IBM's desktop software division. And next to Ted, we have Steve Cullen with Micrographics. Steve, uh, earlier in the show, we viewed two packages that would, I think it was more traditional uh, spreadsheet-based uh, graphing and so forth. Mm -hmm. uh, now, how does your product, Graph Plus, differ from, say, Freelance or uh, Harvard Graphics? Well, Graph Plus differs in a number of ways. Most notably is that it runs in the Windows environment, so that we work with pull-down menus and icons and dialog boxes and mm -hmm. use the mouse interface primarily or some of the other applications we and, use. The and what is it, what's the overall purpose and how do you present it? The overall purpose of that is number one to provide an easier and more consistent interface to well, the what user. Is, what is the overall purpose? Of, what, what does the package do? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. The Graph Plus package yeah. is intended to be a, a two and three dimensional charting application to read Lotus 1, 2, 3, uh, Symphony and Excel spreadsheet data. Okay. It works yeah. primarily as a financial and statistical. Right, Steve, form. I think you're going to show this all off without a keyboard, right? I'm going to try. You're using <laughs> a P70 IBM portable and just a mouse. I'm going to give it my best okay. shot. Show, show us the product. <laughs> Okay. Well, first of all, we'll bring up the worksheet to show you that it, it actually does look like your existing spreadsheet products. And we'll pull down the file menu and open up some data and bring it into the worksheet area. And you notice I just double click on the uh, file that I want to load. Uh -huh. And now I'll just highlight the information and go over to the chart type that I want to select. And we'll start off with a column chart. And these are some predefined formats. And I'll scroll through the different chart types. And here we have a bar chart and an area chart with different formats as well a table chart which allows us to put a picture of the worksheet in the uh, graph itself. And uh, scatter charts and pie charts. Mm -hmm. And of course line charts. So we'll start off with a column chart and make it 3D to start with. Just by selecting new, I'll place the chart on the page wherever I want it to start. And we're actually looking at a full 8.5 by 11 landscape mm -hmm. page, which we can customize in Graph Plus. Now I'll just size the chart, and you'll see that we can just grab any of the handles to do that sizing. And here's the column chart as uh, we needed it. If we view out, we can look at all the pages. And we're actually working on 12 8 and a half by 11 pages. So we can do a full presentation right within one Graph Plus file. We'll view back into the existing page. And we'll scale this chart back down because we want to put multiple charts on that page. Graph Plus allows you to put as many charts on one page as you like. So we'll bring the worksheet back up and highlight just one set of data. So as you can see, we'll put multiple charts on the page based on different sets of data. What was the size of this worksheet you're using here? The worksheet is 16,384 by 256. So you're, you're pulling in a lot of data. We can this. bring in a very large set of data. Okay. That's what makes it so good for financial and statistical uh -huh. and scientific uses. So here's a pie chart. Again, it automatically labels the chart for you. We'll show off the projection capabilities of Graph Plus, which allow us to do a three-dimensional view of that chart. And there you have it. And we'll scale that down to give it a little perspective. Then we can grab any wedge of the chart and explode it, just to add that little pizzazz to it. Uh -huh. And that works with any part of the chart. We also have up to 16 million colors in Graph Plus to work with. So we can go in and pull up a color palette and scroll through the different colors. Let's select the uh, Miami Vice palette, as we call it, and we'll <laughs> set that on the screen. And there you can see how simple yeah. it is to change yeah. the chart colors all in one fell swoop. Now, what about, uh, do you have any th special effects between um, the displays as these things come in? We do have a product called Slideshow that comes with Graph Plus okay. and allows you to use either Designer, which is another micrographics product, or Graph Plus files and do the transitions between the screens. Mm -hmm. Also, Steve, can you import from different software programs, bring in spreadsheets from not just 123 files, but somewhere else? Yes, we work with 123, Symphony, uh, Microsoft Excel, uh, diff files, so if you want to bring in database uh -huh. files. And because we run in a Windows environment, we can also bring Excel files through the Windows clipboard. So that's very nice. Steve, you actually did do an entire demo without <laughs> touching the keyboard using only the mouse. That's right. Uh, you've got a keyboard, I'm afraid, Ted. Yes, but do. you've got Storyboard Plus. Tell us again, what new element does Storyboard Plus add to 